Hi, I'm Laurie, and welcome to your 30-minute dumbbell-only total body strength and cardio workout. What you need today? Dumbbells. Whatever you have, grab them. For reference, I have a pair of 5, 10, 15, and 20-pound dumbbells. I will always tell you what weight selection I am using. Just know that you and I are different, so you may need to go heavier than me and or you may need to go lighter than me. I want you to find a weight selection that feels challenging for you while maintaining really great form throughout. Besides dumbbells, you will also need a mat and I'm definitely recommending a towel and hydration around as well. Here's today's format. We have two minute sets. After each set, we will get 15 seconds to recover. The first 60 seconds of each set will be a dumbbell strength exercise. After that 60 seconds is up, we're going to hold onto the dumbbell and pulse for 15 seconds at the hardest part of the movement. After that 15 seconds is up, we have 45 seconds of an additional exercise. Now this is typically our cardio portion. The majority of these exercises will be body weight only. However, there is a one or two exercises where we will be holding onto the dumbbell. That 45 second exercise before we get the rest is typically our cardio based exercise. And during that cardio, sometimes it will have a jump, sometimes it will not have a jump. So if you wanna make this whole workout low impact, definitely doable. Just keep one foot on the ground the entire time. And or don't do the jump. So instead of a jump, do a calf raise. Make this workout your own. You and I also don't have to get the same tempo, same speed. Now during the strength exercise, I am giving a tempo recommendation. I want you to feel the muscle group working. So don't rush that movement. Really focus on controlling the movement and feeling the muscle group work during the first 60 seconds. Now the 15 seconds of pulses, we should be burning. And then we're gonna get that heart rate up just a little bit before taking that recovery. All right, y'all, enough of me talking. Grab all your stuff and let's get going. Our first exercise is a dumbbell goblet squat. I'm going to stay pretty conservative with the weight selection for the first two blocks, but you and I are different, so you can go heavier than I am. I'll be grabbing one 20 pound dumbbell, feet a little wider than shoulder width apart, maintain a good tripod stance, neutral spine throughout, keep your rib cage stacked over pelvis, core stays tight, no movement in the spine. We're gonna take it down, hinge from the hips, we're hinging from the knees. Pause at the bottom, three, two, one on the way up. So slow eccentric, pause, slow concentric. We're gonna feel those glutes and those quads working. Grab your dumbbell. This begins your workout, goblet squats in three, two, and one, let's go. We take it down for a count of three, two, one and pause. Now drive up for three, two, one. Don't lock out, keep tension the glutes. Go down for three, two, one, feel your glutes right here. Drive you up for three, two, one. Now the main stars of the show here are your glutes and your quads. Your core is helping to stabilize. You will feel it though in your hamstrings and in your calves as well. Everyone's range of motion will be different here. 10 seconds and we hold at the bottom and we make little tiny controlled pulses. Hold bottom and pulse in three, two, and one, 15 seconds. In 10 seconds, we get rid of the dumbbell and we have squat jacks. Just the feet in three, two, and one, set the dumbbell down. Out and in. Land soft halfway through. Last three, two, and my legs are already burning. <laughs> Next up, we have good old dumbbell lateral raises. Now I'm staying pretty conservative with the weight selection. I'll be grabbing five pound dumbbells. You can grab heavier than me if you want. Slow control tempo, one count up, three, two, one on the way down. 
make sure those shoulders stay in place. Typically, if I see anything happen here that I don't wanna see, it's not technically a bad thing, but I'll see a lot of that. That'll just get the upper traps involved a little bit more than we want. Something else to consider, take the dumbbell slightly in front of the body and pretend like you're pouring a glass of water at the top and that'll bias the medial portion of your delts a little bit more, which is what we're trying to focus on, outer portion of the delts. I don't wanna save ya, don't wanna be strangers, let me feel like you know what to do. Leave your limitations, live and go against them, just like go and start up something new. Hold at the top, pulse, 15 seconds. Next up we have inchworms, so I'm gonna go ahead go to the end of my mat. We'll set the dumbbells down, walk it out to a plank position with the hands, walk it back in, in three, two, and one, set the dumbbells down, walk it out, hold plank, walk it in. Last three, two, and one. All right. Next up, we have a reverse lunge. Left side will be working. I'll be grabbing a pair of 20 pound dumbbells. So ground with the left foot. Right foot steps back. Left foot drives you up. So I want you to use the right foot as little as possible here. Core stays tight throughout to help stabilize the spine and the hips. Try not to push off with the back leg. Think about driving up with the left. Your glutes, your quads, hamstrings, core, all work in here. Hold bottom and pulse in three, two, and one, 15 seconds. Next up, we have body weight, lunge jacks. Set the dumbbell in front of you, off to the side, out of the way. We'll tap the foot in and bring it back to this lunge position. Here we go, dumbbells out of the way. In, land soft. In and tap, land soft. Last three, two, and wow, one. All right, we're not gonna do the other side just yet. We have a dumbbell shoulder press. I'll be using 20 pounds, semi-pronated grip. Core stays tight and active. Throughout, we go in three, two, and one. Drive it up, control it down for three, two, one. Keep the rib cage stacked over the pelvis tendency when we get a little tired is to let the hips help you and drive you forward it's going to cause some back issues now and in the future so just think about keeping a neutral spine rib cage over pelvis
Keep on driving. Hold and pulse in three, two, and one. 15 seconds. Next up, we have a high to low plank. We'll take it to the ground, high plank position. Right forearm, left forearm, right hand, left hand. And then switch sides. Here we go. Dumbbells down in three, two, and one. Come to your high plank position. Widen the stance. Right, left, right, left, then left, right, left, right. Let's find a disco. You stuck it on me, so lazy. Last rep. And recover. Reverse lunge, other side. Come on, let yourself be free. Be the best that you can be. Come on, your body. Come on, your body. Right foot grounds, left leg moves. Take it back. Drive through the right leg. Hold bottom and pulse in three, two, and one, 15 seconds. Next up, we have lunge jacks, dumbbells out of the way. Land soft in three, two, and one, dumbbells out of the way. We're here, land soft. Three, two, and wow, one. Reverse fly is next. <laughs> I'm gonna humble myself and use five pound dumbbells. Give me some directions to get to you, to get to you. Hinge from the hips, core stays tight. Soft elbows, pause at the top, control it down. Biasing the rear or back of the delts here. Hold at the top and pulse in three, two, and one, small controlled pulses. Next up, we'll set the dumbbells down, forearm plank, we'll roll it side to side in three, two, one, come to the forearms, 
roll it to one side, pull back, other side, pull back. Release the bottom knee if needed. Last three, two, and one, recover. Next up, single leg RDL on the left side, one dumbbell in your right hand. Ground with the left foot. Right hand has the dumbbell, core stays tight. Hinge that hip back, back, back. Control it, control it on the way in. Neutral spine throughout. So core, gotta stay braced and active. Take it down, neutral spine. Take it back up. Now this left hand, if needed, use it to help. Brace with the wall, with the chair, whatever you got around. That'll help stabilize the hip. You may need to ditch the dumbbell as well. If you have a hard time with this movement, Try it without the dumbbell first. We're feeling it in the left glute, left hamstring, and your core is working double time right here. We'll take it to a B stance, kickstand version in three, two, and one, normal tempo. Hips back, hips up. 80% of the weight is in the right foot. Excuse me, left foot, 20% is in the right foot. Get rid of the dumbbell in three, two, one. Single leg RDL to a front kick. So we take it back, tap, kick, tap. Tap, kick, tap. To advance, get rid of the tap. That's gonna challenge your balance a little bit more. Last three, two, and one, nice work. Before we do the other side, we're going to hit some triceps. I'm using 10 pounds, one 10 pound dumbbell in each hand. Bring it on up. Three, two, one on the way down, then drive it up. Feel the stretch in the triceps. Feel the triceps drive you up. Tendency here is to want to let the hips sway forward. So think about shh, zipping up, keeping the core tight, and keeping your rib cage stacked over pelvis. I won't say it again, I promise. We pulse in three, two, and one, 15 seconds. Then we ditch the dumbbells. We have a jump back plank with a tricep push up. For the tricep push up, elbows in tight to the body. We go in three, two, wow, and one. Jump it back to your high plank, elbows in as we push it up.
Last three, two, and one. <laughs> Single leg RDLs. The right side is next. The left hand has the dumbbell. Here we go. We take it down. Three, three, two, one. Control it up. Think about sending the right hip back, back, back. It's not about how high that left foot's going. Next up, we'll take it to a B stance for 15 seconds. 80% of the weight stays in the right, 20 in the left. In three, two, and one. Normal tempo. We ditch the dumbbell, body weight, RDL, tick kick. Let's go. We'll start out by tapping two reps like this. If you did it on the other side, match here. Eliminate the tap. Keep your spine neutral. Try not to flex it. That means round it. Try not to round it. Last three, two, and one. Biceps are next. I'll be using 15 pounds. We switch it from neutral to supinated. Let's start with the neutral. That's 10 pounds. <laughs> this is 15. Here we go. Neutral. Supinated. Palms in, facing one another. Palms face me, maybe. Ten seconds, we'll pulse the neutral grip bicep curl or hammer curl, whatever you want to call it. And three, two, and one. Let's go. Bilateral, clean to press. We take it down, hold on to the dumbbells. Bicep curl with power. Shoulder press with power. So take it down, neutral spine, bring it up, using the legs to drive you up with both movements. Last rep. And recover. Next up, going back to that hip hinge. Position core stays tight. Neutral grip row. I'm gonna start with 20s. We'll see how that goes. Core stays tight. Send the hips back. Drive the dumbbells towards the hips. Squeeze lats. Three. Two, one on the way down.
we pulse it in three, two, 15 seconds. Next up, we have a dumbbell jump back plank with alternating row. Hold on to those dumbbells. And we go in three, two, and one. Place the dumbbells down, jump back, wide stance, core stays tight, row right, row left, jump in, use lower body to drive you up, neutral spine, jump back, row, row, jump in, land soft. So when you jump in, wide stance, sumo squat position, sumo squat drives you up. Last rep. And recover. All right. Now we get to do the rest of the workout on our backs. So yay. Single leg bridge. Start with the 10 pound dumbbell. If you haven't done this in a while, right leg goes up, left glute drives you up, control it down. Squeeze that glute at the top, pause, control it. Let the glute kiss the mat and then drive it up. Not a full rest here. Three, two, one, kiss, drive up. Pause. Three, two, one, drive up, pause. Hold at the top and pulse in three, two, and one, 15 seconds. Next up, we have bilateral hamstring walkouts. Hold bridge, equal weight in both feet. Will be our starting position, dumbbell to the side. Let's go. You start in your bridge. Walk it out, left, right, left, right, left, right. Hold, walk it in, left, right, left, right, left. Right, other side. Six small steps. Neutral spine. Walk it out with the heel. So you're dorsiflexing flexing at the ankle. Last stretch. Walk it in and recover. All right, right side, single leg bridges. We pulse and then we're gonna change up the bilateral exercise to a dumbbell frog pumps. Here we go, left leg in the air. Drive it up, squeeze glute. Three, two, one, drive up, squeeze. Hold the tension in the glute as you lower. Glute kisses the mat, and then you drive it up. Now, if you're feeling it in your quads, your foot may be too close to the body. And if you're feeling it more in the hamstrings over your glutes, your foot may be too far away from the body. So play around with the position of the right foot. That'll make a huge difference. not about how fast you can go. We could go a lot heavier if we were going quicker, but we are controlling it. We are squeezing, we are isolating. Hold at the top end, pulse, 15 seconds. We have frog pumps next, both legs on the ground. External rotation of the hips in three, two, one, both feet down, come in, feet touch, and then let the feet go open. And then we're just gonna pulse it. 
think about halfway down, then all the way up. Drive the knees out as you pulse up. Squeeze, squeeze. Last three, two, and recover. On to some abs and some lats with this one. We have a dumbbell double crunch. Hold your dumbbell like this versus like this so we can get some extra range of motion. Behind the head, exhale to drive it up. Control it on the way down. Now, we wanna focus on the lats and the abs, not the neck. So we don't want any of that happening. Keep your neck still. If you start to flex it and then extend it, we will feel it in the neck. So to avoid that, don't move the neck. If needed, if you find that's just not going to happen in this position, get rid of the dumbbell. Take your hands behind the head to ensure that it stays still. Now, if you do take the hands behind the head, sometimes what will happen is you'll actually push your chin towards your chest every rep. So just make sure you don't do that. Pulse it at the top, 15 seconds. Next up, we have supine pikes. <laughs> they may look modified because <laughs> I'm getting fatigued. Here we go, ditch the dumbbell. Take it all the way up, control it down. And wow, one, we are on to our final block of the day. We have a dumbbell crunch to leg lift. We'll hold the crunch, so it's an iso crunch to leg lift. Grab the dumbbell, legs go up. Here we go. Crunch it up, hold, legs go down, legs go up. Then we're back to the starting position. So we crunch and hold, legs hover, and then down. Neck stays neutral. Feel the lower abs drive you up. ISO crunch with flutter kicks in three, two, hold, flutter kick. Body weight leg lifts are next. In three, two, and one, dumbbell off to the side, support low back. Pause, drive it up. Another thing for these lower ab lifts. I want you to feel your lower abs. Exhale, drive it up. Last 
we end with an ISO hollow hold. Hold bottom in three, two, hold here, tuck chin, lift, and hold. Last three, two, and one. High five, we're done. Nice work. Roll it to a side. And this is gonna be our starting position for our stretch today. Ooh, yeah, feels good. When you're ready, <laughs> take it to the hands to increase the stretch along the front of the abdominals, and then take a soft side to side sway. Feels good. Hold center, curl the toes, lift the knees, send those hips up and back down. We're facing dog, pedal up the heels right and left. Look up at the hands, come somewhere in between that position and a tabletop, not full tabletop. And we're just gonna let the hips sway side to side. I love this for the side of the body. Feels so good. Mobility work. All right, bring it center, walk the hands in, right foot forward, neutral back, take it up and over. Getting into that left hip flexor. Big deep inhale. Exhale, come forward. Let that left hand rest. And then slide that right foot open, right hip open. Think about driving the right hip back, left hip forward. Wow, 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 into that glute. Feels good. Little twist. And we're gonna take it to the other side. Quick stretches tonight. If you want more of a stretch, more stretches. I'll link some additional stretching videos below. They range from 10 to 30 minutes. Some are very focused, like one specifically for the low back. Let's come forward. One specifically for the hips. One for mid to upper back, one for neck. One for upper body, one for lower body. I'm not obviously going to link them all, but you can also just go to the yoga and stretching playlist. So I will definitely put that in the description. If you don't see one you like for the add-ons. Ooh, this feels good. All right, bring it forward. And we're going to take it up and over. For three, exhale, two, And one, other side. Exhale, three. Two. And one. Cross the legs, inhale both arms up. Little tricep stretch up and over, getting the lats as well. Take it to the other side. Inhale up, exhale, open up the front of the chest, the chest, front of the shoulders and the chest. Inhale, exhale, one more time. And we are done. Nice work today. As long as you tried your best, that's what matters the most. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Your love and support means the absolute world to me. So thank you so much for working out with me today. You're a rock star. Be sure to tag me in your posts and stories on IG. Dust your shoulder off in the process at Laurie Midkiff. And most importantly, remember, you rock. Have an amazing rest of the day, my friends.